Hello, it's Adam Ant, and welcome to my YouTube series about Legends of Runeterra. I'll be doing a series showing you how to start the game and sort of some ideas of where you can direct your focus. There's a couple of things you'll have to do, which is a little bit of research, but I'll show you the basics. And this is the very first of my series. So when you download the game, you're going to be at this home screen. You're going to get familiar with the UI here, and I'll just kind of walk you through where you want to start. You want to start on the Rewards tab. So the Rewards tab will give you a ability to, up here in the top left, to change the region. And the reason this is important is you're going to have a, a variety of different regions to select from. Um, right now, Targon is the one that is does not have an XP bonus. you notice up here, if I activate it, up here in the top right, you notice there's nothing. While if I check any of the other ones, you will see a 50% boosted XP. So in order to maximize your value, you want to go to the boosted XP regions. Now, which region should you start with? Well, you don't know anything about the game, possibly. And so you're going to have to kind of take a look at the various... Um, you can do it a few different ways. You can go on the internets and you can start researching you know what the top decks are if you're super competitive you might want to do that if you and i'll show you a tool in the actual game that can that can help you there if you um, want to do more lore research and find out what these things mean and maybe check out the champions that go with these um with these regions that's another fun way of doing it um, you can look at the artwork you can say hey this looks cool i want to do that one whatever you decide is perfectly great now, you're going to want to focus on two of these because the standard decks that you will be building will be built on two, uh, a combination of two. Uh, you can also, of course, make a single uh, region deck. There's nothing wrong with that. But two is the maximum. So, that being said, I'll let you decide which one you want to check. Here are some resources you can use. If you go over to the play icon, in the very bottom, you'll see this leaderboard button. The leaderboard button will show you what's being played by the top players in the game based on their rank. Now, these are, you can inspect them and see what kind of deck they're playing. These are the regions. So if you go to the top decks, oh, new regions. Okay, that's a third ind independently new combination of regions. So everybody, so basically, oh, there's a, there's a duplicate there. So basically, everybody has their own way of playing this game, and it's up to you to decide. Now, I know that um, this is a streamer, I believe. You can go to his channel, and maybe other streamers here that I don't know their um, their handles. But bottom line, you can click on and see their deck. You can import it, even you can you can try to build one of their decks. Let's say you want to. Um, let's say you were impressed by this deck, and you want to take a look at it. You would import the deck which brings it into your collection. And then when you go to your collection and see the imported deck list, which is right here, you'll have that exclamation mark saying, you do not have the cards to build this deck. So if you are focusing on these um, regions and then you are playing the tutorials and playing the free to play stuff, you'll very quickly, so I need this card. I only need one card and I can play this deck and it is a, uh, looks like a common. So let's see. Yeah, common wild card. I'll go ahead and cash in my wild card. And that's it. Simple as that. I've got a tier one deck that, of course, I'll have to learn how to play. I don't expect myself to be as uh, as good as the player who we just saw on the ladder. But the point is, is that now I have a, a highly ranked deck, which tells me that it's proven itself. Um, there's no telling if that player switched to this deck and is just playing this now. It's hard to say how many games he played with it. I don't know if that kind of those kind of that kind of data follows that leaderboard. He might have gotten here with another deck and then switched because he has fun playing this deck. But either way, I would imagine a player at a high rank would continue to play a consistent deck or a deck that he enjoys to keep his rank up. So that tells me I don't know how much rank camping there is. Um, I'm new to this game, so even though I'm giving you tips and tricks on how to start. Uh, I've only been playing for 10 days, but hopefully the information I provide will be, you know, kind of generic information for the new player. But that's how you get to the point where you can build 
the deck that you want or just is hopefully you'll have some background uh, like i said that was a very simple way of showing you how to import a, a, a high ranking deck now of course you won't probably have the i've been playing for 10 days so of course i have piles and piles of, of cards but and let me show you what i did to get a good variety of cards this might be hap this might be good for people who are not quite um decided on their uh on their two regions and you might want to take um a better like a, a more balanced approach so what i did is i went through and i leveled them all up to eight and now i'm going through and just getting a few more levels from what i understand 12 levels gives you so this is the one i, I hit 12 levels with and i get a whole bunch of rewards as you level up or rank up these um, regions you'll get all of these reward types so you get a capsule you get a bronze chest some wild cards a wild capsule silver chest epic card epic capsule champion capsule so on so on up until level 12 and then you as you see well hold on let me activate it and then at level 12 i don't get that xp bonus anymore but anything under level 12 so let's say um do i have anything else so this one this one i have at level 11 i'm up, i'm just about to hit 12 you see my xp marker is right there um so i still get boosted xp up until level 12 so my intention now is to um i went with a balanced approach and hit level 8 with all of them now i'm going to push them up to level 12 once i get that completed then we'll have to just be grinding whichever ones i like up to level 30 which is pretty cool so that's how the decision decision tree has to be done based on the decks you want to play or you can do it balance like me whatever you want to do um but just keep in mind the 50 percent boosted xp is the best value so you've done that and you're excited and maybe you go and try to build a deck and you're a couple cards short of course you can always go to the store and you can purchase um gold and when you purchase gold you can it just all it does is give you uh card options you get a couple of options when you're in your collection to buy cards and i'll show you what that looks like when you go to edit your deck and you see that you have a card that you don't own you click on it i showed you earlier but you right mouse click and it gives you your options my options i have 2300 or so um, of these shards I could spend shards on this card. I could spend wild cards, which again you collect through playing and opening, um, you know, uh, some of your rewards. I could use a wild card, or in this case, I could spend ten gold. So depending on how many resources I have, is going to tell me which, um, you know, which I should use. And the game is really super friendly with regard to the new player experience. You're going to be building a tier one deck within days. Um, just grind out your your uh, daily stuff and i'll show you a little bit more after that after this um here so the other source of uh cash or not really cash but a currency in the month in the game are these i don't even know what they're called but they look like this they're this color of gems these are for cosmetics so i don't really um, i haven't bought a lot of cosmetics if i choose to i'm just going to acquire these and we'll decide later I think you can foil out your decks or do something special if you if you like that kind of thing for some pizzazz make your decks snazzy okay that being said let's get out of this and go back to the basics so your basics are uh the most important thing you've already decided where your regions are going to be that's the first step your second step is to go into play mode and you are going to be playing the challenges now challenges will be in a different order than I have here. I've completed all of them. There are 27 challenges, and you need to just click from the top to the bottom, do every single one as they show up. Just keep scrolling and keep clicking on them. It's a lot. There's a lot to learn about the game. Some of it will be super easy and intuitive. Others, other items will be a little bit trickier. The cool thing about these tutorials and these challenges are they are interactive. Most of them give you some choices to make and you have to demonstrate your skills so it'll ask you to accomplish something you'll click on things and you'll think i got it and then it'll say nope and you have to do it again unless you're a genius and you just smash the whole thing um, a, few, a few of them i took two and three chances at or th two and three shots 
because I was uh, either thinking in a magic frame of mind, or I was just wasn't reading the uh, directions, or I wasn't paying attention. Um, I blamed my dog and a whole bunch of distractions, but none of it was my fault. So after you figure out the challenges, the cool thing is that these give you a really good, uh, you know, like I said, you have to demonstrate the skills before you move on. I think that's an excellent way to actually learn and not just have an explanation of, of the mechanic and then you move on. It's better to actually demonstrate those that you understand the mechanic. And I love that. I think these are very well designed uh, and you'll learn a lot about the game and how to uh, play it. All the keywords and all the all the um, combat effects and the way your spells work, everything's covered, the way your mana works. So this is the beginning. This is where you learn everything. After that, uh, I would suggest using the, they have some canned decks or some pre-made decks. I would go to the versus AI and give those a shot, try them out, see how you do. And then at that point, you should be able to use some of your wild cards and some of your acquired, um, you know, loot, and maybe even do what I showed you and build at least close to one of the top decks. And then you can always reference that deck later, replace with cards that you sort of like. Um, the actual deck building tool is really fun, but I'm going to show that in another video. I wanted this to be a quick and easy tutorial about where to begin. And I think that gives you enough stuff to chew on. We'll talk about some other of the um, tabs here. And again, about how to, how to kind of select cards and move towards the deck you want. And we'll do that next time. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on Legends of Runeterra Tips and Tricks and whatever this is going to be called. Uh, hit the like button. I always forget the outro. So outro time. Smash the like button and all those other things. Hit notifications if you want to know when I post new videos. I will be putting content out on a regular basis. So enjoy it and tell me what you think. If you're an experienced player and you have uh, comments or additional information to add, I'm, it's more than welcome to do that in the chat. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a Twitch streamer, so not the chat, the uh, comments below. If you want to catch me live on Twitch, look below for the link there. I will be streaming four times a week, so come and check me out uh, for live action. Legends of Runeterra. Take care.